this backpack might be making me a backpack believer. I don't even think I can begin with a cute little intro today. I have so much stuff to show you and I don't want to make this video an hour long. I mean seriously, it is such a haul. And it was all sent to me by the company Tortuga. I mean seriously, you want to see everything that we have? Hold on. There's a carry-on size backpack that's 40 liters three of their packing cubes, three travel pouches, a sling bag, a tech organizer, and a passport pouch. They still have more. They have a personal item size backpack too, and a water bottle and a travel towel. And it's all gonna help you pack efficiently, which we love here on this channel. So today I'm going to give you an in-depth tour of the 40 liter carry-on size backpack, but then I'm also going to pack it using all of the other essentials that I showed you so that not only I show you what can fit inside the backpack, but show you all the travel accessories too because it'll all make sense and be so amazingly organized when you see me pack it and you'll probably want to buy it all which is good because you can buy it in a big bundle but more on that in a little bit if you want to travel often and pack well like i do then please subscribe to our channel and follow us on instagram i have been to 95 countries and all seven continents in a carry-on bag. So not only do I do reviews of travel essentials, but I also do packing tutorials and overall travel help so that you can be prepared for all of your future travels. All right, we have to get started because there is so much stuff to show you. Now, as you saw when I was introducing all of the little items to you, is that everything was black. So I guess Tortuga isn't the most colorful company out there, but their products are going to be very durable with the best zippers. They're gonna be waterproof. They're gonna be lightweight. They're gonna be very well designed and they're all gonna work together seamlessly. However, if you would love these products and love them in additional colors, please comment down below and let me know. All right, so we need to start with the backpack. Now this is their 40 liter backpack, meaning that it's carry-on size. So it's going to have to go in the overhead bin. It likely won't fit under your seat, or even if it does fit under your seat, it's not gonna fit in the personal item bin. They do sell a personal size backpack though, if that's what you are in the market for. So I'm not gonna measure this right now while it's empty. I will measure it later when it is full, but it does hold 40 liters worth of stuff, which is the same capacity as most of these hard shell bags behind me. We will weigh it right now and then we will weigh it again when it's full. It is 4.1 pounds and I don't have the hip belt part on it right now. So let's start with a tour of the outside and you guys, this bag has so many little details on it. I really hope I don't forget anything. There are no pockets here on the very front face of the bag. Theirs are a little bit more hidden. So right here along the zipper, you do have a pocket. And look at that when I open it, it is light inside, which we all absolutely love. So this is going to be a really nice, easy access pocket. And it is really big. It does go from about here to here. So anything super easy access you need, <laughs> is in that pocket. And then we have another zipper right up top here. And that is going to be the remainder of this area. And of course, it's light inside. So this would be a very nice pocket for maybe a passport or a phone because it is smaller, but still something that you might need often. And then we can open the actual front of the bag. You ready? It's like a blinding bright light. Everything you're looking at is black and then it's like, boom! There's a lot going on here and I love it. We have this mesh elastic pocket here, two pen slots, one, two, three, four little card slots, a zippered pocket right here that's kind of more shallow, all of this packing space inside there, nothing on the front, and then this is a nice fleece lined pocket for some sort of electronic. You could put your laptop or your tablet in here, but of course there is a laptop 
pocket as well. And that's going to be right here in the back. There is this little mesh pocket right here. If this is where my laptop's gonna go, that's likely where my cords are going to go. And then this whole back panel is fleece lined. And you have this Velcro strip and you have an area for a laptop here that can fit a 16 inch laptop. And then you have another pocket here that's smaller, maybe for some sort of tablet. Now, of course, what would a well-designed backpack be without a water bottle sleeve? Well, guess what? This bag has two. We've got one on this side and one on this side. And I don't have the Tortuga water bottle, but I do have this one, which is 24 ounces. And I have this one. Not sure how many ounces that is, but either way, there is an elastic here to be able to hold probably any size. There is this little side handle right here, which is great. Backpacks don't always have that, and it's nice and padded. That same handle is right here on the top for a top grab. And then we can talk about the back. These padded straps, I've never seen anything so thick and padded in my life. These are hardcore, you guys. This is probably like a half inch thick. And of course it has all of these little loops on it as well if you want to attach something to the straps. And it does have this sternum strap and a removable hip belt, which I'll put on in just a minute. Now, of course, these are going to be adjustable depending on your size. And then there's this really nice thick foam panel on the back. And then these are the detachable hip belts, which are great because it could take up to 80% of the weight off of your shoulders. Boy, I could have used these the last time I traveled with a backpack. Whew. They attach to the backpack and they are adjustable. They go from 34 inches to 62 inches. So there's this little clip down here. You just feed the Velcro through and put it together. Now let's keep in mind that I am 5 foot 10 plus size. It goes right over my waist and I still have some give here. And we've got the sternum strap. And there we go. Not to mention these hip straps do have little pockets, which could definitely fit a phone, a passport, a wallet, some snacks. Now it's time to open the inside. And you guessed it, it's clamshell and super bright inside. This, in my opinion, is the only type of backpack to have because you can pack it like a suitcase, organize it like a pro, and most importantly, you don't have to stuff everything in through the top like a traditional hiking backpack. So you've got this big area to pack in here and then you have this nice mesh pocket and you can pack in here. Looking at it as compared to one of my hard bags, it doesn't look like it would hold a lot. But bags like this, you guys, it can hold so much. You would be shocked. I do have to say, I do kind of wish there was some sort of strap or something going on right here. It would be really nice to have something to make sure everything here stays in place. Mesh here and mesh here, or mesh here and some X straps. Because the worst thing is opening up your bag and things potentially falling out. While this is empty, I'm going to measure this part of the bag for packing space. Lengthwise, you have 21 inches of packing space. Your depth is going to be four inches, and then your width is about 14. Now on this side, it is a little bit more shallow, but depending on what you've packed on the outside, you do have about two inches. In this little area, it's always shocking how much it can hold. So what I want to do now, we can move on to the packing portion of this review. Not only will I show you what it holds, but show you how to utilize all of the different travel accessories from Tortuga to better pack this 40 liter bag. Real quick guys, one thing that I was noticing while I was packing it is that it has a very unique shape. Because down here at the bottom, it's actually 
12 inches and at the widest more so at the top is where it gets to be 14. so it just has a really unique shape like that and i didn't really notice it until i kind of had this bird's eye view all right it's all packed do i look like a turtle i'm going to show you everything that's in there in a second but what i want to do first is measure it now from the outside and weigh it now that it's full. It is 21 and a half inches tall. The depth right now, while fully packed, really hovers between nine and 10. Some parts bulge out a little bit more than others. And then the width of it, like I said, does vary. Up top here, it's 13 and a half, but down at the bottom, it's only 12. So let's go ahead and weigh it. And you guys, I didn't pack for a specific trip, but I did fill it up a lot using everything and still leaving space for souvenirs. So it is 23.6 pounds right now, which I've had heavier. So let's take a tour of everything that I packed. We're gonna start with this little pocket up top here, which I put my iPhone and that passport pouch. In that passport pouch, what did I put? A passport, some currency, and some cards. This little pouch doesn't have any organization inside, but it is just a really great thing to have just so that you don't ever lose anything. I don't know about you, but I've lost my passport while traveling. It's not fun. As for this sneaky front pocket, I have this little pouch which is the smallest of the three pouches I'm gonna show you. And this I used as kind of my airplane bag. I want something in the seat back pocket of all of my essentials that I need, like an eye mask, a pen, medication, contacts, headphones, plain headphones, whatever. These things hold a lot, even though it's small. And then the rest of that is empty, but this is long and thin you could fit a lot in there and i'm talking you buy souvenirs like i do there's so many little areas that you can pack things in so in this water bottle holder i have you know shameless plug of my merch does it look like i check bags and of course we do have another side i don't need two water bottles right guess what i'm gonna hold my gorilla pod tripod because if you're a creator like me especially on the road you need a place to put that and then this front pocket here i didn't really put any cards in here because i put them all in that passport pouch but i do have two pens i put some mints here i put a little notebook here and in this pocket a travel umbrella. As for the back, I did put my block and my cord for my laptop in that pocket. And then in these fleece line pockets, 13 inch MacBook Air with a case on it and my iPad. I have no idea what model this is. Now we will get to the actual inside of the bag. So here I have the bigger size packing cube and the two smaller ones. And this is when you can really see that this is a little bit wider than the bottom. And then this is the electronics pouch. Now I'm actually really loving this and it's for one big reason. A lot of these electronics pouches don't necessarily think about you being international. And when you're international, you have to bring one of these and it's huge and bulky. And a lot of those adorable little slim cases out there don't fit these in there. This does. In this case, I have the universal charger, my travel tripod for my phone, and these little mesh pockets. I have this for my computer, an external hard drive, a portable charger, and four different cords. And I still have this pocket back here that I didn't even utilize. Maybe I could use it for camera cards. And I still have a lot of space in there for my chargers for my various cameras, depending on what I'm traveling with. I am very, very picky about electronics pouches and this one holds a lot. And you can really put this anywhere in the backpack, but I chose to just put it right in between the two packing cubes. This side here, oh my gosh, I can still fit so much. I just have a pair of flip-flops, this travel sling, which I'll get more in depth with in just a minute. And then I have the medium-sized travel pouch, which in here I have 
deodorant, toothbrush, comb, solid sunscreen, and all of my makeup. And I still have this bigger one too, but I didn't even know what to put in it, honestly. But yeah, you could fill this up and throw it in there as well. Backpacks hold a ton. They just need to be comfortable on your back. But because this bag has those hip straps, I really do think that this could be comfortable. Now let's talk about this sling, which could technically be its own review. We love sling bags. It's black, just like everything else. And it does have an adjustable strap, which does fit my plus size body, which is nice because not all companies are size inclusive when it comes to sling bags. This back portion here that goes on your body is kind of solid. It's not just the same nylon that the rest of the bag is made out of. So there are two compartments. So let's open up the one more in the front. And of course we do have the light interior again. So you're going to have this key leash. You have two mesh slip pockets and a zippered pocket in the front. And you can see how much space this actually has. And then you have this zippered pocket back here, but this does have a little bit of padding. Like I said, this buckle is actually very interesting. It has a magnet and you just place it on and it shuts. So this is the bag as big as it can go. Totally fits me really well. I think actually it can go even bigger. Again, five foot 10, size 2X. It's almost kind of like a purse or on my hip fanny pack style. And you know, this can be really great to wear in addition to your backpack. You wanna put your passport and all your plain essentials in here, you totally can. And then one thing I didn't mention yet, cause I wanted to wait until this bag was actually packed is that you will see these straps here and then you will see these straps here on top. And these are what they call load lifters. And not every backpack has them. And what it is, is when you put your backpack on, you can adjust these so that everything is stabilized and your backpack isn't swinging along. But then of course we have these hip panels again to make that extra secure and the sternum strap. So all of the weight isn't just on my shoulders actually doing that and this and this it feels very lightweight like i'm kind of blown away you guys know a backpack is not my preferred way to travel but like i really do <laughs> like i think i could actually do this i could probably do a cartwheel wearing it right now i can't show you though because it's snowing outside i'm impressed I really do understand why this backpack has won so many awards and why this is any backpack enthusiast number one pick. I mean, seriously, I am so comfortable right now. Like, I dig it. This backpack might be making me a backpack believer. And did I mention I have a bad back? This still feels great. That was such a big haul from Tortuga. Speaking of everything, there is something called the Everything Bundle, where you can get a lot of the items I showed you today, plus the backpack, all included in a discounted price of $500 let alone Tortuga has a bunch of little deals where if you're going to buy this accessory with another item, you're gonna get $20 off or $10 off. This bag works even better with the correct travel accessories. So I absolutely love that they give you little bundle deals. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in this bag, the everything bundle, or anything else I mentioned today, of course, everything will be linked down below in the description. And if you have an interest in me reviewing the personal item version of this bag, comment down below and let me know. If you're not necessarily a backpack person, when it comes to a carry-on, you can benefit from Tortuga's personal item size backpack in addition to your luggage. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you Tortuga for sending me all of this incredible stuff. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.